wiping out the terrorists. So much to watch here. Yeah. All right, Cray Patrick, thank you. A closer to home, the man accused of killing his two-year-old son and stabbing the child's mother to death is now headed to a state psychiatric hospital. A judge just ruled Thomas Mosley incompetent to stand trial. Fox 13's Kaylee Tracy explains what this means for the case moving forward. As Passion Jeffrey and Taylor Mosley's family sat in the courtroom Wednesday, Thomas Mosley appeared before a judge. And I'll find that Mr. Mosley is not competent to proceed. I'll find that he is restorable. Judge Susan St. John agreed with two court-appointed doctors who evaluated Mosley. They say the state psychiatric hospital is the best place for him right now. Mosley is accused of stabbing Jeffrey more than 100 times in her St. Pete home in March and killing their two-year-old son, Tay Lynn. His body was found in a lake. Police say evidence puts Mosley at both scenes. So this is not a case where he's walking free. He's not a case where because he's incompetent today doesn't mean he won't be tried in the future. This is a case where as we sit right now, he's found to be incompetent. And as a result, they need to send him to the state hospital to restore that competence. Anthony Rickman, a defense attorney not affiliated with the case, says there's a difference between competency and insanity. He, right now, it's not, he's not saying, hey, I was insane at the time of the offense. We're talking about as it stands right now, he's not competent to stand trial. And that's different than somebody being insane or raising that insanity defense. There will be another court date in April to see if Mosley is competent. Kayla Tracy, Fox 13 News. The prosecutors are seeking the death penalty. Mosley has pleaded not guilty.